Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect a budget subwoofer to your home studio setup. So before we get into this video, I'd first like to ask you to please smash that subscribe button down below, click on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Secondly, the links of all the products that we're going to be going through in today's video will be down in the description below as well. And then last but not least, make sure you watch all the way till the end of this video so you don't miss my little sound test comparison looking at budget speakers on their own compared to having a subwoofer as well. So the way I like to see things when connecting a subwoofer to my home studio setup is that the subwoofer is the centerpiece. The cables are going to run from my audio interface into the subwoofer and then there's going to be cables that run from the subwoofer into the studio monitors. And as I turn the subwoofer you will see that there are input connections and output connections for these certain cables. If you're someone that has a Focusrite Scarlett Solo like the one I have in today's video, you will be needing TRS cables to connect your audio interface to your subwoofer. If you're someone that has a different type of audio interface, maybe a complete audio one by native instruments or this new Tascam audio interface that has RCA connections, you're gonna need an RCA type out cable to connect them to this subwoofer. So to connect my audio interface to my subwoofer, for today's example, I'm gonna use TRS cables. Remember, you do need to use balanced TRS cables when it comes to subwoofers and studio monitors. If you're using RCA connections, they don't have to be balanced, they usually aren't anyway, but if you are using TRS connections, make sure they are balanced. And in terms of connecting them, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is plug in the left and right cable on the back of the audio interface and then you just run them all the way to the back of the subwoofer and plug them into the right and left of the TRS input section as you can see. Like I said, if you're using RCA connections, you're gonna use the RCA side of an RCA type audio interface. Plug them in the back over here, and then you're gonna plug them in at the back over here by these RCA connections. In terms of connecting your subwoofer to your PreSonus Eris E3.5s or budget speakers, you can also use the same type of cables and plug them in right at the back of the out section of the subwoofer and then plug them in straight into the back of the PreSonus Eris E 3.5s. So in terms of the cables you're going to need, you will obviously be needing TRS or RCA connections and you will be needing four because two cables will be used to connect the audio interface to the subwoofer and then another two will be used to connect the subwoofer to the studio monitors. To make it even more simpler, the way you would connect an audio interface to a set of studio monitors by just plugging in your two TRS connections at the back, you're pretty much just plugging them in here and then having those same connections go out to the studio monitors. If any of you out there have bigger type studio monitors, maybe more expensive monitors and you want to go for the same option of having a subwoofer as well, remember that more expensive monitors don't have any RCA connections so your only option will be to get TRS cables. So now that we're done with the setup and the connecting side of things, let's jump straight into the sound test. So that brings this video to an end of how to connect a subwoofer to your home studio setup and the difference in sound quality when just having budget speakers to that of a subwoofer as well. If you guys have any questions about today's video, please leave a comment down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time.